Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. It is She Beats Beauty and I am back with another video. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I was going to do a blind by Tuesday, but it's going to have to be a blind by Wednesday today because I was so tired yesterday and I, I just, all I did was ate and went to sleep. So um, I'm going to get back to doing blind by Tuesdays because this is what the channel is about. It's about, as of right now, it's about blind by Tuesdays, not Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. It's going to be blind buys on Tuesdays. And then if I have um, more fragrances that I want to review that I have smelled, I'll do that. But today was going to be a Wednesday blind buy. Next week or whenever I get my other um, fragrances, it's going to be a blind buy Tuesday. Okay, so I'm so excited today because today was a rough day and um, I realized um, I have a fragrance that I have and this is my very first niche fragrance and I'm so excited about it. So, and um, I'm going to try to see if I'm going to do, um, trying to figure out how long I want to do my videos. I've Personally, I feel like videos should be kind of short and concise because a lot of times um, people, uh, attention span is just like, I want to know what it is. And I know that's how I am sometimes. But then I've had two people that has already told me that they like how I, the breadth of, um, of my videos. So I don't know um, if you guys follow me, just let me know you know, and down in the comment section. And also, you know, if you're coming to my channel, please subscribe. I love to meet new people. You know, I love to have YouTube friends and maybe make real friends, you know, um, in this time of a pandemic, you know. Um, so, you know, comment, um, subscribe and like my video so I can do more of this because it's something that I really love. Now let's get back to my very first niche fragrance. And guess what it is, guys? You know, at first I thought it was going to be Delina, you know, but it's not. It's, um, well, Delina is, what is the, um, Perfume de Marley? Delina is Perfume, Perfume de Marley. But this time, um, I got, boom. Can you see it? My House of Siage. And I'm so excited about it. And, um... I've already unboxed it. I couldn't wait. Um, today was like a rough day at work. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just open it up and look at it. I didn't smell it. I got my daughter to smell it. Um, I got my daughter to smell it. And she said it smelled like old people. I was just like, what are you talking? She was like, it smells like old people. And then they also sent me um, this Disney fragrance, uh, a new Disney fragrance that they have from House of Siage, it's the Mickey and Minnie collection. Maybe I'll come back, if I like it, I might buy it. And it also has a little lipstick, that's like a bow tie lipstick, okay? So actually, you know what? Before we open up what I bought, let's smell, I'm gonna put this on my, I'm gonna spray it on a piece of paper, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to spray it on my skin because I think it's always better on the skin. That's how I believe. It's going to show up differently. So um, here we go. So we're going to do the Mickey and Minnie one first. Uh, the ID. First, we're going to read. Let's read about the um, the description. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So um, the Mickey Mouse perfume and Minnie um, bow Minnie Mouse bow lipstick case. Oh gosh, I can't read lipstick. Case set. This joyful fragrance transports you to a magical world of Disney with uh, their iconic mouse, with the iconic mouse couple Mickey and Minnie. This whimsical scent is symbolic of the famous couple's ever loving relationship, incorporating sparkling notes of refreshing coconut, bright florals, and sweet vanilla. You know what? A lot of fragrances have vanilla. I and I don't like, when I receive vanilla, I don't like it because it's just, I feel like vanilla is in everything. But, you know, vanilla makes things smell good and it's a comforting smell. Um, the notes in this uh, fragrance uh, is, top notes are the, bur is it bergamot or bergamot? Bergamot. Mandarin. Cardamom. Or in the top, the heart notes are orange blossom, coconut milk, and coconut milk. 
uh, the base notes are modern 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 amber how are you gonna have a modern amber and then it's sandalwood um comment in the section below if you can explain modern amber uh, my take on it is let's say amber back in the day was really heavy and saturated and then the modern amber has a new maybe maybe like a lighter brighter twist to it here's a little card um and then I don't know who this person is. Is this like the um, the woman that created House of Cigars? I wonder. And I forgot to read the information about the House of Cigars. Because um, I really wanted to read everything about it. Because I think it's a... Um, it is a house that is actually in the States. Because whenever you think of a house, I think of Paris or Perry, you know, or Italy or somewhere over there, European. Um, let me read this really quick. Then I'll go back to Mickey and Minnie. Uh, the House of Siage pays homage to artistry, artistry, traditions, and unmatched craftsmanship of classic perfumery while transcending modern conventions. The couple of unique the coupling of unique ingredients tailored by experience and time honored attention to detail uh, produce aromatic aromatics that evoke a feminine sensuality yes build but yield to an, and engage with each wear in a mysterious way yes i might love this house because that's me um, care instructions. In order to preserve the quality of the raw materials present, present in the exclusive fragrance, please limit exposure to sunlight, temperature, various variations. Um, a soft microfiber cleaning cloth is uh, provided to clean the signature cap. Um, oh gosh, I read somewhere. the My signature cap, oh, it has 158 Swarovski, Swarovski crystals on it. Um, one other thing. One other thing. Oh yes. If you do not know now you know you need to if you have fragrances and you love fragrances hide the shit out of them okay put your fragrances like i put my i have like a desk um i put my fragrances in a drawer you know like i keep them hidden unless they're like fragrances that i have from like bath and body works or something like that mm, we're running up on eight minutes let me see if i see how far we go last video was like 20 something minutes okay um house of siage has brought hot Oh shoot, I can't, hot, um, I don't know what that word is, Jew jewelry, maybe it's uh, the <laughs> French word for jewelry, I don't know, but it says hot jewelry, I think it's to luxury cosmetics with our new limited edition Mickey Mouse and mini bow lipstick, so it's, I think it's probably jewelry in another language, um, because it's not in English, um, but every everything else on this card is in English, this playful bow lipstick, that was shade. Uh, the Playful Bow Lipstick Case includes a lipstick refill in our new shade, Magical and Intense Bright Red Lip Color. I want to get that. So it's like a little bow and it's very, very cute. Okay, let's go on to where you guys, the reason why you're here. Uh, I'm going to spray the um, piece of paper, ghetto strip paper. Then I'm going to spray my wrist. Okay. I don't know what my daughter, she, I got her to smell both of these and I think she said they both smell old, but she's, you know, she's 15. Okay, so I'm gonna smell the strip first. And to me, this smells old. You know, like it smells to me like old. It smells like something that I've smelled before. So I won't be purchasing this. I don't. I'm not a fan of it. It smells kind of, my daughter said it smelled minty. And I was just like, where are you smelling the mint? And I get some type of mint in here too. And the ingredient, you know, the notes in here is bergamot. Is it the bergamot that gives the mint? The mandarin is not the mandarin. Cardamom. Orange blossom, coconut milk, and modern amber and sandalwood. So I smell all of the um, the the I smell the cardamom. I smell the you know the the coconut like the milky smell. 
Maybe what she's smelling, my daughter, because I can smell some of the orange in here. Maybe whenever they marinate, whenever the smell, the um, maybe whenever the orange blossom marinates with the cardamom, it gives like a minty, a minty. Maybe the cardamom and the bergamot gives the orange blossom and the mandarin that minty fresh because it smells kind of fresh. I see what she's smelling now. Because I was like, where are you smelling that? So maybe she's smelling that um, mandarin and the orange block. The, mainly the mandarin. Because that's going to hit at the top note. She's going to be smelling whatever she first sprayed from the top note. Right? Where did I put the strip? That's what it is. I think it's the, um, the orange. Like the mandarin. Okay, so we're up on 11 minutes. I'm going to try to like knock it down okay so i don't know how i feel about that one i wouldn't buy it for myself you know mm, okay so love is in the air is what i got and i'm so excited because it's beautiful um i'm gonna read um the inspiration i'm excited I'm going to read the insp Oh, also, I got this off of House of Siage. Um, I, this is half off. These fragrances are $360. Come, you know, $360, and I got it half off. And I think they still are having this, uh, they may still be having this sale, honey. And, and that's a big deal, because $180 is still expensive, but it's, it was $360. Okay, so like I said, I have um, Love is in the Air, and it's a very pretty bottle. I'm excited because this is like my first niche uh, fragrance. I'm going to read the top notes, heart notes, and base notes. They have 158 Swarovski crystals on this one. I don't know if the same. I think it's probably each one has a different amount. Okay, so the top notes are plum, black currant, and that's why I got this fragrance because it said plum and black currant because I like the black currant. And I don't have a fragrance that has plum in it that I know of. Heart notes is jasmine and cedarwood. And base notes is patchouli and musk. Okay, so the patchouli is probably what my daughter was saying. It smells uh, old. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so here it goes. Here's the little box. And I was watching um, an another couple of you. A YouTube couple and they do fragrances and they said that and I kind of agree with them they said that for the price tag of wait a minute recording will be stopped nope I'm not stopping okay someone's CVS is trying to call me about a anyway so what was I saying Oh, yes. The couple said that the box, this is like a little box. That it's like a little box, little, it's for the price tag. They should do a little bit more, I think, with their presentation, you know, because this is really simple. Maybe if whenever you opened it up like this, it was kind of like, well, it is kind of soft, velvety, right? But if they had some more going on with this, so you can keep the box and so it can be kind of like, woohoo, look what I got. All right. Okay. So it's kind of set, it's set in here like that. And you kind of pop it out. Oh, and actually, actually, it this flops out. And it is kind of soft in here. So that, I mean, the box is kind of sturdy. So that's not too bad. But maybe if they kind of fix it up, make it really pretty. That'll be even more worth the purchase because I like presentation. And then they give you a cloth to wipe this down. And you can't really see how shiny the crystals are, which is a bummer. But this is cute. So the crystals are um, all around here. And you've got them here. And then on the top, it says love is in the air. And then if you, you can you tell, see, like, here's the juices in here. But they've got, so the juice is dark, but then you have this dark amber colored juice, but then you see this, it's kind of blue down here, which is, I think that's really cute. Okay, so enough of me talking. I'm going to spray my paper, and then I'm going to spray my wrist. Okay, guys, see how, I don't know. 
This is pretty good, right? Pretty good spray. Mm, what does this smell like? Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to put it back in before I drop it. This does smell like... Let me read. Oh, my nose is strong. Maybe just one spray might be all you really need. Like maybe two sprays on your skin, on your, you know, pulse points. Okay, guys, let me read the inspiration. Then I'm going to tell you what I think about on, think about it on the strip. And then I'm going to see what it smells like on my skin. And then we'll be done. Okay. So the inspiration, the fragrance flirts delicately with Sweet hints of jasmine and succulent plum paired with a romantic and smooth essence of white musk. Perched over the fragrance are two silver lovebirds, which are known to sing beautiful and harmonious songs of pure love. Okay, this fragrance fills the air with, with grace and tender affection and serve as a reminder that true love worth keeping should never be caged. All right, all right, all right. So... This is for the month also of February, okay? So we're just being lovey-dovey all month, all right? Um, let's see if there's any more information. No, the bottle is 2.5 mil. And let's see what, how this smells on the piece of paper. Okay, yeah, I do get like, on the people, on the, I can't talk, on the piece of paper, it smells kind of, you know, it's kind of got that stank on it. And I think that's the jasmine. <laughs> it's got, that's what that is. The stank, that stank is a little bit of that jasmine I smell in the patchouli. You know? So it does smell kind of um, matronly, you know? On my arm, I can, on my skin, I can really smell the jasmine. I'm trying to think of what, what type of woman would wear this fragrance. The woman would be me. So I feel like this is somebody. I don't know. I like it because I like all fragrances. It's not something that I would probably pick up and grab. But it's a bit mysterious. It's warm and cozy. And I would wear it on, on a date night. I think on one of the other videos, they said that you can wear it throughout the year. Which you probably could because it's not too overpowering if you don't spray too much of it. You, you know, like this is a fragrance that you don't need a lot. But it's also a fragrance that I probably wouldn't pick up. It kind of reminds me of a little bit um, like uh, Mugler, some of his fragrances. You know the the um the heaviness of it but i like it it's not like woo, you know over the moon of, about it but i like it you know i would throw it on if i'm going somewhere important um like on a really nice date somewhere it's, this is not a movie theater fragrance okay and you know i don't know if wherever the movies are going to open back up but that is not what that is for this is like date night really nice restaurant you know fine wine and dining type stuff okay but it's very pretty it's very it's a very pretty someone keeps calling me a very pretty fragrance and um I will, you know i like it it's a scale of one to ten i give it a maybe a five and a half that's honest opinion but i'm not um i'm not like oh man i don't want this i love it i'm still excited about it because it's my first niche fragrance and i'm excited also i think what i'm really going to be excited about is delina because everybody has talked about delina so that's going to be probably my next one i've never smelled it before no intentions to smell it and um yeah i think that's it um if you guys have any um you know, questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to know about this fragrance that I just bought, um, put it down in the description below. I don't know how, um, I'll have to kind of like, maybe I'll come back and see if I have anything, if my opinion about this changes. 
And um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I still hit 20 minutes. That flies by really quickly. But it is what it is. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a, a fragrance review under 15 minutes. It's just maybe right at 15 minutes. Definitely not 10. But thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please like. And talk to me in the comments below. I love to talk. Okay. Bye.